one and welcome sorry I I thought I could record this wrapped in a blanket but as it turns out nay I can wait that's a horse not a sheep the blanket's wool. I, I got my animal fur confused. It happens to everyone. So, the Synergy Lab, the dedicated, delicious facility creating the very best and beautiful in Isaacs, had a few little upgrades. Today, we're going to be focusing on a little horn, because guess what I have the power to do? I forgot the key. The duel! Look! I can now have every single tier be this glorious disintegration. Is that not amazing? But that is not all. No, we have more upgrades. We must always have upgrades. I am just going to disintegrate every enemy. Is that not amazing? Look at that. Oh, the challenge in this one might not be. I've always wanted to be able to disintegrate all who stand before me. Oh, lovely. So we have our usual darkness. But what we can do is, you see there's now a darkness modifier. Because I can adjust the amount of darkness. But what the beautifully talented modder of uh, this mod discovered is that you can actually ramp darkness in the opposite direction. Which you just saw a little bit of a taste of. But we'll get more into that later. But it's very much relevant to the synergy we're going to be doing today. I kind of feel like as terrible as Larry Jr. is, and and he is, there is a reason that he is a disowned worm. But as terrible as he is, there is a part of me that thinks he's one of the scarier bosses to actually fight in real life. Like, if you had to get into a gladiatorial arena with a sword in hand and minimal training, what boss would you choose to go against you? That's the main question. Which one would it be? Would it actually be Larry Jr.? Is Larry Jr. the best choice? You see, you might think so. You might initially think so. But I would like to posit a different approach. Because, alright, you're holding a sword. It depends what type of ground that we're fighting on. That's the main thing. It very much depends what type of uh, ground we're on. Because if you could affix your sword into the earth, which would technically be speaking possible, right? If you chose Monstro, you only have to avoid him until he jumps in the air, right? And even if you get hit by his blood spatter, if we're translating them into real life, you know, it's just going to be literally blood splatter. At most, you might have an, ew, get it off, get it off, get it off, get it off. Oh, you know, you might get a little bit in your eye, but nothing too crazy, right? So you just have to dodge his jumps and then fix the sword into the ground and then just get him to jump up and land on the sword and he should impale himself and if you're lucky you'll hit a vital monstro organ and actually get a straight up kill and look like a badass. And yes, we do need to be this tiny little dot today. <laughs> so tiny, so little. Oh, it's just the best. And we're gonna grab ourselves a uh, a little bit of Transcendence, a little bit of Pyromaniac, and a little bit of Camo, and a little bit of Holy Mantle. So now we are a tiny disintegration fly, which really is a pretty terrifying fly to come into contact with now that I think about it. That is something a little bit more deadly than your common house fly. <laughs> oh my god. It's the disintegration fly. You just see him burrowing through solid glass to get to you, melting it in his wake as he is buzzing furiously. Then again, I don't know how one would buzz furiously, right? Like, how... How do you buzz furiously? A buzz is just a buzz, right? There's no there's no degree at which you can be furious. Then again, I could definitely argue that a bee buzzes kind of nicely, whereas a frost... A frost? Where is a frost? What? what? What even was my brain thinking about there? Where is a wasp? Not a frost. A frosty wasp. 
definitely does sound a little bit more on the uh, like angry side of things but isn't is that just because we've associated a wasp buzz with oh my god i'm about to get murder insected i feel like that might be it like imagine the typical battle cry you know that as uh, someone goes for you you know imagine if that throughout all of human history was actually you know, a really, really non-intimidating noise. However, if that's what it always was, if manly men before charging into battle, Viking raids, you know, instead of the ah, they were ah. If that was through the history, then when we hear someone ah at us, we actually would be like, oh shit, whoa, my god, what's gonna go down? This is actually really bad. Oh no, you know, and it actually would be ingrained like that. So in theory. I think it's just because wasps are assholes. I think that's what I'm getting at here. I think all of this can be addressed as wasps are assholes. As we get ourselves a little bit of a power boost. Just temporary. Just temporary. Because honestly, well, I mean, you'll see. You'll see as we go along. I mean, really for me, just having... Uh, this uh, permanent destruction disintegration balls, I mean, that's pretty good, right? Like, it's, I feel like this is the kind of item that you pick up and you go, man, if only every tier could be a disintegration tier. And really, I'm here to answer that question. I really am. Isn't that right, big horn? I killed your baby and now I come for you. <laughs> Ah, oh, see, that's the important thing. Leave no one alive in order to try and hunt you down for revenge. Because it's just, it's just not worth it. It's really, really not worth it. So, we are going to add to this little bit of loveliness some continuum. Yes, indeed. Because this adds a lovely pulsing brightness to it that, don't worry, we will... A little temper just a tad, you know, we don't want full brightness, but we do want to temper it a little bit. Oh, you know what happened recently, actually? <laughs> so, I have a new housemate, at least for a little bit, because I'm actually going to move out soon, but I'm sure there'll be plenty of uh, stories about that in future Isaacs. But for now, I've got a new housemate, and uh, he came home the other day and went, guess what? And I was like, I got this. I got this. I, I got this. What? And he's like, what? I'm like, you said, guess what? And he's like, oh, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not funny. I don't understand how I have a YouTube career. And he was like, yeah, we're not friends. Either way, what I just did right is I bought a hot tub and I'm like, excuse me? And he's like, yeah, just straight up. I just got myself a hot tub. And I'm like, I mean, that is, that's something else. That is impulsive. That's Fair enough, I guess. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I, I can, I guess there's a hot tub for use for a while. But out of all the impulse purchases in the world as our shiny balls go past, it just, it's an interesting one. So now there is just a hot tub in the back. And the thing is, it's England. So outside of the few freakishly warm days that we are hopefully, thankfully past, it's just been freezing and raining. But then again, being in beautifully warm either weather or water while it is otherwise raining is actually a really, in my opinion, cool experience. Like, I seriously think it is. So for now, we're going to get the Ludo technique, and you can kind of see a little bit more why I wanted to go for this. We're going to get the Magnet Tears, and we just have this Absorption Vortex in the center, and it's just, oh, like the orange vroom, 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 vroom. And it is going to get a little bit more ridiculous, because today, like suddenly buying a hot tub, we are going to go big. We are going to go big, and I mean huge. We are going to end up with a colossal tier for one very cool interaction that I never really even knew was an interaction. But before that, we need to shrink even further. And then let's destroy this floor with our ball of gore as everyone goes by. In fact, no, I guess if you got disintegrated, you wouldn't actually leave... Uh, that much blood everywhere. I mean, how good is this? Like, it's such a simple synergy. Like, this isn't that crazy, I will admit, but just having this ridiculously fast one-shot ball of death that cannot be stopped, cannot be contained, that because I'm so small and invisible, just looks like it's my character. Like, it's so, so supremely satisfying. You have no idea. But it kinda can't one-shot. Woohoo! 
Ooh, this is a... Why did I Mario as I went in there? Woohoo! No, this is a very good, like, normal run. Holy hell. I mean, we didn't check the item room, so it could have been a little bit worse. But as far as we could see from the ancient and the boss rooms, you would have had a very, very, very powerful time. So, what we're going to do now is uh, grab ourselves a little bit of mysterious liquid which will convert it into that shape which is a requirement unfortunately because I don't really like the trail but it's the only way the effect works. Then we're going to get Sacred Heart which will make it a little bit on the larger side but we are going to end up going larger still, don't you worry. So here we go and the thing is when we apply our darkness, so, for reference, by the way, zero darkness is normal, no curse. One darkness is curse of darkness, and that looks kind of cool. But then we can go further. This is a Super Saiyan. This is a Super Saiyan 2. But I've ascended further to Super Saiyan 3, where the brightness is even more pronounced, but it is gonna get even more and more and more than this. For now though, enjoy this uh, spectacle. Ooh, I, we can as well and uh, should grab Holy Light, which is gonna add just a little bit extra vum vum to it. Yes, I just called it a vum vum. But that's fine. So, we're gonna have ourselves a lovely destruction ball here. And this really is gonna do it for this floor. It's technically not the fin of the synergy, but... But it is a nice kind of half, well, not really halfway point, nearly their point before it gets absolutely ridiculous. So we can still enjoy it on a personal level. Because it's really, do you prefer slowly hunting down and terrifying and eventually removing from this life one person? Or do you like doing it quickly to a load of people at once? You know, that's, that's the decision you've got to make here. So right now we're having a little bit of a personal session, but later on we're going to have a group one. <laughs> I probably should have thought about that before I said it, but oh well. Yeah, go on, stand on your death. Okay, so what one of these can I get away with? Ironically, E. coli, actually. So, now in theory, I should be able to just chill in the center and do this, right? Like, this should kill everything. In fact, can we do an entire boss rush with this? Hell, I could give it a little bit of angle so it just keeps going at different sides through everything. Ooh! That blind side there! Absolutely clobbered! And here we have the boss rush. Just spotting one on the way. Going to get the guy. Because you want to go for the guy. No! It's on top of the guy. I'm going to get 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 the guy. I'm I love me some horse racing commentating. I mean, granted, it might not be completely accurate. It might have a little bit of, uh, I'm just having a minor stroke. God, imagine if a horse racing commentator had a stroke. And he's going around the bend right now. I can't tell who's winning. Uh, Marjorie, who have we bet on? <laughs> Oh, it's not funny. Alright, let's finish destroying this boss rush in a way most satisfying. And then head to the next floor where we are going to go huge. Yes, we are. We are going to go huge. Ooh, it's very bright and nice on this floor. Looking good. So, what I need is to go in here... Grab myself the sharper plug, grab myself the wafer, and then we're just going to get some lovely, lovely health. And then, boom! And then, here we go! Here we go! Boom! And we're just gonna do this for a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean a fairly large amount of time. We are going to end up 
with a lot of damage here and quite a good sized orb and you can already kind of see why I like it now so now that our orb is sufficiently swollen I'll, I'll stick with that and if we go back down to normal darkness levels you can see this lovely glowing iris in the center but everything else is a little bit murky so if we go back up to the new darkness levels that iris in the center glows exponentially and then we as the player when we enter behind the screen we are this blistering sun of glow like it's almost revealing our true selves as we try and get even smaller and smaller and smaller so that we may never be seen look at that look at us go we have reached the singularity but we can take it even further when we start to do that probably flashing warning i would say actually on this and we're gonna grab ourselves cricket's head which is gonna ramp us you know that's a nice amount of damage 192 i would say that is not bad but i think we can have I think one more. I think one more. 800 damage disintegration ball. The size of the room. I like it a lot. So you see now, wherever my player is, this huge white shining. Look, it's like I've entered the ball, moving to the center, and pfft, Now I am one with this. Hang on, I realized kind of what I almost described there. <laughs> But yeah, how cool is this? What a great way to use the lighting system in Isaac. I think it's amazing. And obviously, when we get into a room, we can just have a complete train of destruction. Nothing and no one can stand up to this. It's probably one of the most powerful synergies I have ever done. And it's so fast and hardly controllable. And it is unstoppable because it disintegrates, right? Because it disintegrates... You just can't really stop it. And this is where we have holy light, by the way. When we don't have holy light, it's a little bit too just generally flashy on and off. And it kind of hurts a little bit. But yeah, look at this monstrous thing. It is just unreal. Do we think, right, do we think that this is enough to instantly get rid of the hush? That's the real question. It'll probably one-shot the delirium, but whether the hush will follow, I don't know. Because even our the most damage possible to deal in Isaac synergy, still actually no, did it one-shot him? I can't remember because that hit for because <laughs> that hit for a lot, but I can't remember specifically how much. All right, there we go. A glowing light entering the hush's domain. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, oh yes. So, actually, talking of uh, moving soon, I went to look at the house that I am uh, probably going to uh, move to, and in the back garden there is a pond, and uh, I was like, oh cool, there's a pond, that's fantastic. And then I looked in the pond, I was like, there is a fish in there. Did they leave me a fish? And I was like, hang on a minute, the fish isn't really moving all that much. Oh no. Ah, that's still pretty good. A hostage integration, I would say. Look at it. Vom, 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 vom. Goodbye to you. <laughs> it's just so glorious and bright. Behold my might, for I am right. <laughs> oh, I was like, that fish isn't moving a lot. Oh, and this house has been empty for a few weeks. Please tell me it ain't so. <laughs> so I got the net out and. Uh, fish the fish out the pond and it's like a koi carp and it was just there kind of not really moving and I was like oh what I would have loved to have a koi carp I can't believe this I would have come and like looked after it if I knew and then I'm there like what do I deal with this fish corpse now and then just out of nowhere while it's in this net out of the water it's like it suddenly just went <gasps> and just started going mental and flopped back out and fell into the pond again like I just you know interrupted its Sunday snooze and I was like oh Cool! So I got some fish food, and I guess I'm now the pride owner of a koi carp, which, by the way, which, by the way, 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 don't question it. I'm not really sure what happened there, but don't question it. Which, by the way, is now called koi, because that was Danny's suggestion, and, you know, I'm not really passionate enough about fish names to 
go against it. So that's what we've ended up with. Oh, I'm so glad we got to blow up the bloat with that. And then we got Trinity Shield. This definitely would have been a successful delirium run like i 100 percent think so and unfortunately we don't have any delirium sightings over here how sad we're going to have to kill more things oh no oh no all right where do we think i'm going to say the bottom one i think the bottom one is the delirium it's really hard to navigate when you're uh, you know a tiny disintegration fly because I have... Whoa! What is with the walls of this room? Is that normal? Is that... I swear that's not normal! That's so cool! It's like orange power just circling on the walls. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. How could I be so wrong? We might as well murder the fires and the headless horsemen while we are here. And then I believe through the major powerful process of elimination that the uh, delirium is possibly, just quite possibly, in uh, this final, final room. And uh, is something surviving this? Oh, no, it was just the hands coming down. I see. All right. Hello, delirium. Oh, ooh, that is... Yeah, that's... Oh, the brightness of the sun flaring up in that! Look at that! Oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Look at this thing. All right, guys. Like if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. That is your Synergy Lab for today. My name has been Rage. A good boy. You've been